Hi right, guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have an update on our Japan Red E92 M3. If you know anything about these cars, they're pretty solid, but they have two very well-known issues. One is the rod bearings, which we have taken care of on this car. If you haven't seen that video, we'll put a link up to it so you can check it out. The other one is throttle actuators. Now on this car, the throttle actuators haven't gone and we normally recommend you change them if you have a problem with them or if you're gonna be using the car on long road trips. We have an opportunity to change the ones on this car so we don't have to worry about them. So we're going to fit them today. So now we do offer our own rebuilt actuators. The stock ones do tend to fail quite often. So we've seen them fail at like 40,000 miles and then again at 40,000 miles. So these ones are not only rebuilt mechanically, but also the electronics are upgraded to a higher spec than OEM, such that we can actually offer a lifetime warranty on these. So I'm gonna ask them to put these in the car and I'll see you afterwards. So now that Imran's explained what the throttle actuators are, I can go ahead and show you how to change them. Being an M car specialist, we obviously work on a lot of M cars. Uh, the S65 and the M3 being the most popular that we do work on. So I have changed these quite a few times alongside the rod bearings. So it doesn't take me too long to change. Um, we do start off with removing obviously the air intake system, the front scoops, the lid, the air box, the intake itself and the plenum. Obviously this car's got the matte Venturi fitted, so we're gonna to have to remove that before we fit the actuators. So I'll go ahead, start by removing the front, and then we can show you the process as we go on. So now that I've removed the plenum and the air intake system, we could take a closer look at where the actuators are situated. You'll see bank one actuator on the left here in the middle of the V and bank two actuator on the right here. So to get to those, I'm gonna to have to remove this wiring harness, which involves unplugging all the sensors and removing the 10 mil nuts. So Aston has fitted the throttle actuators to the car now and we can enjoy the car without having to worry about the car going into limp mode because of a throttle actuator failure. If your car's been used every day and you're only doing short journeys, you don't need to really worry about that. But if it's a special occasion car like this and only gonna go on road trips, 
I'd hate to be taking this car to the Alps and then have the failure. So that's why we've done it as preventative maintenance on this car. With the rod bearings done, we are really good to go on this. So those throttle actuators do come with a lifetime warranty and you can see all the details on our website. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you'd like to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.